Hi, today we will look into how to pop corn on Vortex Robopop 60 from Robolabs and its specificity. The best temperature is that at which corn pops into the right shape and maximum volume. Popcorn comes in two basic shapes – butterfly and mushroom. Butterfly has a regular shape with wings, it has tender, fluffy, fragile texture. Mushroom pops into a perfect ball. Some part of mushroom kernel still pops like butterfly. The volume of popped kernels is very important profit-wise. The fluffier popcorn expands, the better for the business owner. At too low a temperature, the performance of vortex popper drops, the risk of chamber clogging goes up, the percentage of mushroom corn popping into butterfly shape increases. At too high a temperature, in vortex popper machine popcorn kernels pop smaller and the volume is less. Popcorn texture gets tough and chewy. At too high a temperature, mushroom corn pops smaller in diameter and butterfly pops into a smallish ball. The approximate temperature range for butterfly corn is between 200 and 215 degrees Celsius, 392 419 degrees Fahrenheit. For mushroom corn, the range is between 210 225 degrees Celsius, 410 437 degrees Fahrenheit. The optimum popping temperature has to be adjusted for each incoming corn shipment on the basis of tests. Test the corn from new shipment by varying temperatures and comparing the results. The popping temperature is set through the touchscreen sensor panel. The speed of the turbine influences the intensity of the airflow in the work chamber. Go to settings. Butterfly corn, due to its fragility, requires less speed versus mushroom corn. Too high a speed will result in preliminary kernels blowing away from the work chamber, augmenting the production waste. The normal production waste is approximately 7% of the corn mass. Too low a speed will lead to the chamber clogging. The temperature and the turbine speed parameters are interconnected. Changing one will tell on the other. The optimal turbine speed is dependent on the operating popping temperature. The higher the popping temperature, the smaller become popped kernels, thus requiring higher turbine speed for the proper work of the vortex popper machine. Vortex popper capacity is the amount of corn mass in kilograms or pounds that the machine is able to process per hour. Vortex Robopop 60 is able to process up to 28 kilograms per hour, or up to 60 pounds per hour. Attention! The weight of outcoming popped corn is different from the weight of incoming kernels and depends on the corn quality and the machine settings. The worse is the corn quality, the more waste there will be. 20% is considered the normal weight loss, due to waste and corn moisture losses during popping. The machine's capacity is determined by corn auger speed parameter, go to settings. In old firmware versions, the corn auger speed is simultaneously set up for both corn hoppers. New firmware permits to set up different corn auger speeds separately for mushroom and butterfly corn. Signs of Vortex Robopop 60 stable and smooth running. Popcorn kernels are evenly rotated in the work chamber. Unpopped kernels do not pile up in the chamber bowl. Temperature fluctuations do not exceed 5 degrees Celsius or 9 degrees Fahrenheit. Frequent use of pause regime and frequent switching from one hopper to the other, from mushroom to butterfly and back, will tell on the popper's smooth running and on the quality of the product. Common error using pause for replacing the popcorn cart, do not do it. To temporarily stop the sifter, 10 seconds is enough for the cart replacement, press the sifter button on the front panel under the touchscreen. One of the reasons of clogging is stopping the rotation of the sifter. If the sifter does not rotate, popped corn cannot leave through the exit opening and stays in the sifter. Popped corn gets accumulated and blocks the entry from the work chamber into the sifter. The sifter may stop due to malfunctions of the drive gear, electric motor and connected with the motor electric circuit components, the sifter's deformation, its clogging and clogging of the draw rollers. In the course of work, on the sifter's guide phase and on draw rollers there forms a layer of oil and dust. If the sifter and rollers are not cleaned on a regular basis, it leads to the slide of the sifter and its stop. Examine the sifter's shape, its drum must be completely round with no deformities. Besides, it is necessary to be sure that the sifter has been correctly installed. The guiding troughs should be placed on rollers and adhere to all four of them. The sifter should be placed on the rollers without misalignment. Another reason for chamber clogging is poor corn quality. Any bag of popcorn may have some kernels that would not pop. 
This is caused by a lack of kernel's moisture and deficient hull structure. If corn were of poor quality, there would be more kernels that are deficient. They accumulate on the bottom of the bowl and weaken the airstream coming from the turbine. This leads up to the chamber clogging. It is possible to clean the chamber from unpopped kernels during the operation using the so-called air flush purge on mode. In the purge on mode, the speed of the turbine shortly goes up. A strong airstream blows out all the unpopped and broken kernels as well as all scrap. This allows to clean the chamber during the operation cycle. After that, the speed of the turbine returns to its preset setting. Purge on is a part of the machine's algorithm. Depending on the settings, this air flush can take place regularly within equal time intervals or per the chamber clock sensor signal. Red font of lettering Purge on on touchscreen settings means that the regular air flush function is active. Purge chamber every in the screen settings sets the interval for the consequent air flush. Black font of lettering purge on touchscreen means that the purge on function is activated only by chamber clocked sensor, X0 sensor chamber. In case the regular air flush does not help to solve the clogging problem, it is recommended to reduce the feed rate of corn, corn auger speed parameter in the settings, to reduce the operating temperature and to increase the speed of the turbine. When selecting a new operating temperature mode, one should be guided by the above recommended temperature values optimal for each variety of corn. The heat stable head of the chamber clock sensor is located inside the work chamber on the left side. Next to it is the temperature sensor. The chamber clock sensor, X0 sensor chamber, is activated if there is no movement within the scope of its vision. This is possible in two cases, either the chamber is clogged or empty. Sometimes the operator sees the message about the sensor's activation, but in reality the chamber is empty. In that case we speak about the chamber clogging sensor false alarm. For Vortex Robopop 60's correct operation it is necessary to set up X0 sensor chamber. For setting up sensor's distance detection, place inside the sheet of paper in the following way. The distance detected by the sensor should approximately equal one half of the chamber width. Open the electric components compartment and find the digital amplifier of the sensor signal. By careful and smooth rotation of the trim screw, it is necessary to make the sensor's pickup indicator light up, big red light at the sensor's bottom. The sensor's condition can be also checked in the settings menu testing on touch screen. The pin code is 3333. Please note that the sensor head should be clean and 2-3 mm projecting from 1 16th to 1 8th of an inch. If X0 sensor chamber sensor is triggered, the machine is blocked and the menu screen flashes. Chamber is clocked with popcorn. For further operation, it is necessary to unlock the machine. For this, go to the settings menu on the touch screen. The factory pin code for editing settings is 6666 and enter. Find lettering in red over lock at the bottom of the screen. This is the indicator of the sensor that has triggered. For unlocking the system, press over lock on the touch screen and hold it for 2 seconds. The machine is unlocked and operational. Chamber clocked sensor can be indirectly influenced by the way the hopper sensors are tuned. Core setting can be made with a screwdriver and trim screw on the body of the machine. Insert the screwdriver into the trim screw and turn it. Fine setting of sensor's distance detection is made with the help of sensor's fixing nuts. Both sensors also have backup indicators on testing screen on the touch screen. These are X3 sensor cone left and X4 sensor cone right sensors. Depending on the firmware version, hopper sensors are set up in a different way. In the old version, the sensor is triggered when the hopper is filled with less than one third of its volume. 
which is nearly 5 kilograms or 11 pounds. In the new version the sensor must go off at the minimum volume of corn in the hopper. In order to learn how to set up the hopper sensor on your machine, you need to open the settings screen and look if there is corn sensor delay parameter. If there is no such parameter, your machine is equipped with a new firmware and the hopper sensor is tuned to the minimum corn volume in the hopper. In the opposite case, the hopper sensor is tuned to one third hopper volume corn mass. Right after the hopper sensor goes off, the touchscreen flashes, load cone in left or right hopper. In the old firmware versions, at the same moment the inner timer is launched. With time on the timer over, the machine gives a sound alert, and if the operator does not add cone, the machine will automatically go into the pause regime. In the new versions there is no timer, and the sound alert goes off together with a message on the touchscreen. In the old versions the timer's time in minutes is set up on settings screen by cone sensor delay parameter. In new firmware versions there is no such parameter.